हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल फॉर डेली सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वीडियोस इन टुडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट द सपोर्ट रिएक्शन फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ बीम व्हिच इज अ सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम बट वी ओ हियर टू डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ लोडिंग सो दिस वन इज अ ट्रायंगुलर लोड एक्टिंग ऑन द बीम और वी कैन से यूनिफॉर्मली यूनिफॉर्मली वेरिंग लोड while on the other hand there is uniformly distributed load acting on the beam uniformly distributed load which is not changing in its magnitude so we have to analyze this beam by finding out the support reaction so i will start with a very easy and simple way so how first we have to find out the area of the load in order to convert this load into a pointed load so how so first we will find the area of this load this one i call it a1 so a1 will be equal to the this is a triangular load so a1 will be equal to the half base into height half base is 6 meter this distance is 6 meter multiply with the height height is here 3 kN per meter is the maximum load so a1 area will be equal to the if you multiply this and divide this we will get here 9 kN so 9 kN is the area of this it means that the magnitude of the pointed load is 9 kN which will act at the centroid of this triangle now the area of the second now we will find the area of this one i call it a2 and it is a rectangle so a2 is equal to the base into height so simply the area of the rectangle so area base is 3 meter multiply with the height which is 2 so we get here 6 kN so now this 6 kN will act at the centroid here here at the centroid of the loading position now keep in mind that in case of the rectangle which is 3 meter you see the length of this rectangle is 3 meter so in case of this one the centroid point is very easy so it's simply half half here and half here so if i bring this value so 6 kN if i bring this value down here and and this one as well so 1.5 meter from this direction 1.5 meter from this direction is the centroid of this load now what will be the centroid of this triangular object now in triangular object to find out the centroid so it will look like this for example this is in a triangle so the centroid is always here if this is the total length l so from this point from this point it will be 1/3 of l and from the other point from the longer point it will be 2/3 of l so this is the way to find out the centroid of triangle this is 1/3 of l this is 2/3 of l if i draw it with a red color so this is 2/3 of l similar way in this case this distance is One third of six, because L is six meter in this case, and that is two third of six. Now two third of six is equal to the. This is four meter. And this one one third of six is basically two meter. So now we know this important. values we will put these values for example 9 kN is the load which is acting here at this point 9 kN and here is 6 kN which will be acting here at this point and i will remove all the other points which i don't need in my calculation so now let's suppose we will use in equilibrium equation to find out the support reaction so let's suppose some measure of moment at point a equal to 0 and now let's suppose clockwise moment is positive and the anti clockwise moment is negative so all the forces that create the moment we will find out these forces so keep in mind that moment is equal to the is equal to the force multiplying with the 
movement down. So now we will start from this side, from left side. So with the first force that creates the movement about point A is this one 9 kilonewton. So, so 9 is the force multiplying, this is the force 9 multiplying with the moment term which is the perpendicular distance between the load into the point where you want to find the moment. So this is the distance from here to there which we found out 4 meter before. So this is 4 meter here. So now the second force that create the moment about point A is this one 6 kilonewton. So it will be again and it will again produce movement like in this direction. And this was also creating movement like in this direction. So it was clockwise. So that's why it's also clockwise positive. Plus 6 is the force. 6 kilonewton is the force in the movement term is the distance from this point from 6 point up, up to a point. So what is this? So this is 6 meter plus 2 meter so this is 8 plus the half of this 3 which is 1.5 so this is the total distance from 6 kilonewton centroid up to a point so 1.5 and now what is the another force that creates the moment about point a is the rb for example rp is acting in upward direction so now this force is acting in upward direction which creates the moment about point a in anti-clockwise direction so it will be negative so minus rb multiply with the moment arm the moment arm is the distance from b point up to a point which is 6 meter plus 2 meter plus 3 meter so the total is 11 equal to 0 so measure of all the moment about point a equal to 0 so now we will shift this value into the right side so we will get 11 rb will be equal to this one value which will be 36 and plus this other value which is 57 so rb will be equal to the if we divide in 8 this value and then divide by 11 we get here 8.5 kilonewton is the rb so rb here is 8.45 kilonewton is the support reaction here similarly to find that ra here this one ra let's suppose using the equation summation of Vertical force is equal to zero using this equilibrium equation. And let's suppose the upward force is directing down, up, upward force is directing positive, and downward force is directing negative. Now, in upward forces, there is RA, which we assume it acting in upward direction, and RB, which is also acting in upward direction. So, RA plus RB and acting in upward direction minus. What is the downward force? One is 9 kilonewton. Here you see in one is 6 kilonewton. So 9 minus 6. Both are acting in downward direction. That's why they are negative. Equal to 0. So now RB is known to us because you know this is 8.45. So we'll put the values and we will just simply do the calculation. So uh, and we will shift all these values into the right side. So we will get 9 plus 6 minus 8.45 which is rb value so we will get here the support reaction of ra which comes out to be 6.54 kilonewton so this is the ra which is let me draw it clearly here so RA is equal to the 6.54 kilonewton and RB was equal to the 8.45 kilonewton. So this is the way how to find out the support reactions for a beam with a different kind of loadings. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.